to another Buenos Aires vlog. If you're new to this channel, my name is Chanel. I'm in my 20s. I'm living as a digital nomad in Buenos Aires. I recently just moved from New York and I'm just having the best time ever today. I actually just got done working this morning and if you saw one of my last vlogs where I talked about accepting a new position, I did accept a new position and this has been my first week and I'm absolutely loving it. I'm going to stream in virtually to teach a class virtually in the morning and I'm just having so much fun with it. It's like exactly what I love to do and I'm so happy that I can do that here in Buenos Aires. Like after the pandemic, literally you're able to do anything virtually. It's just so amazing to me. I got such a big pimple here, so we're gonna ignore that. But we're actually gonna go thrift shopping today and I am so excited because I've been wanting to go to this thrift shop for so long. It's such a sunny day out today. It's Friday, it's the start of the weekend. I'm feeling happy, I'm feeling good. So let's go get some clothes. I don't know if you'll be able to hear me over the music, but we're finally trying Hell's Pizza. This is a pizza that we think will be the most similar to New York pizza, so we'll have to see. Like, it's looking really good. It's looking really promising, so fingers crossed. pizza was actually really good it was really close to being like New York City pizza but the thing was it was just so greasy and the crust was not thick enough and it was so greasy it was like greasing out of all parts of the pizza it was like on the plate it was just too greasy for me and actually a few days ago we went to Pizzeria Guerin So everyone has been telling me that I need to try this pizza shop in Buenos Aires. It's called Pizzeria Guerin and I'm a girl from New York and I love pizza. So I just had to try this place. So I went in on a Wednesday and it was absolutely packed. It was so packed that they brought us all the way to the back and you can see what it looks like. I was so surprised that they had a second seating for us to sit in. I mean, there was just so many people. The food smelled so incredibly good. I love this little sign right here. And while we were waiting, we got an empanada, which was so good. And this was the margarita pizza that we 
god guys i cannot express how much i absolutely love this pizza it was definitely the best pizza i've tried in argentina so far 10 out of 10. and i thought that pizza was really really good so many people have been telling me to go to pizzeria guerin and we finally went and y'all were right it was really really good we have to go back because the empanada that we had literally was the best empanada that we've had here in like our three months here it was so incredible now we're hanging out in a park and we're just chilling it's finally really nice weather the sun is out the birds are chirping and we're feeling good and i just saw the cutest little hot dog dog run past with a little ball in its mouth life is good like it just lie to me in the comments and say that you like it because I've been wanting something like this for a really long time so I just need your support here <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's a new background yes. it's a new background yes. they're not framed yet I want them to be framed but imagine them being framed with like a really light wood border around them picture that we actually did a really good job, like centering them. Yeah. Like it looks like, it looks like actually absolutely perfect. It really does. Like we did good on the first try. The guy who did the the lip balm trick to see how far apart that worked. I don't know who thought of that, but I give him credit. Now we have to see how it looks as if I'm in a Zoom call. Okay. So your Zoom. This is my background. What do we think? Tell me you like it. Tell me you like it. Okay, I'm a little bit low, but you get the idea. You get the idea, right? Like, should I have brought it down more? But no, I don't think so, because the chair literally couldn't have gotten more perfect. I couldn't have gotten more perfect. Wow. Very rare we do something right the first time. We did it right the first time. I bought these prints on Etsy. They costed me like $4. And then I went to a local print shop around here and it costed me 2,400 pesos to print each one of these. And I also bought a thing of tax for 600 pesos. So in total, our price for all of this, just printing it, and for the tax, it was almost like 8,000-ish pesos, which if we check the dollar blue for today, um, it was a little bit expensive, honestly, but it only costed us $11. So $11 to print all of this with the box of tax and an additional $4 off of Etsy. This is a pretty good deal, I'm not gonna lie. The only thing is that they're not framed, so it's just on paper, so if anything happened to the paper, the whole print is damaged. This was the other piece of wall art that was originally hanging up over there. I'm just so tired of like the very dark blacks and grays in this apartment, so I really wanted to brighten it up. 
this was his, the owner's, and I want to put it somewhere else, but like, I don't know where I would like to put it because I kind of want to take down all of the really dark stuff in this apartment. And I don't know where I'd want to put this, if I'd want to put it anywhere. Maybe in the kitchen to just like hide it and keep it out of the way. Yeah. I don't know, or like maybe in the bathroom or something. I don't know. It looks good. Day two, I woke up this morning and you know what? I was like, I really like how it looks. I really do. It looks good. I was looking last night to see if I wanted to get some frames for them. Um, but the frames on Mercado Libre are a little bit expensive and we're still trying to set up our Mercado Libre account because we don't have our DNI yet. But that's my next thing that I want to get for them. And I think the frames will look a lot better. So we're about to look at another apartment and I really don't know if we're going to stay in this place and re-sign for another three months or not or if we're gonna really try to go hard on the apartment searching and sign for a different place because I really like the place that we have here. There are some quirks about it, but the big thing is that it's kind of far off from where we would like to be. This place that we're gonna go look at right now is a little bit more centered to where we would like to be. It like, has a lot of things around it. It's really cute. So I don't really know. We're gonna see. He said the price is negotiable. Right now the price point is at 700, but he said if someone were to sign for three months or six months that the price could be negotiated. And like, that's our big one. If you saw our apartment tour, you know that we're paying $500 here and we really don't wanna pay more than that. And a lot of you have told us and the people that we've talked to with here told us that even $500 is like kind of a high price. So we definitely don't wanna pay more than that. So we'll see. Oh,